Hi, everyone. Welcome to day three of BravoCon. The crowd is lit. I'm Darren Carpier at the BravoVerse live stage for day three, 2023, in Las Vegas. You know, all secrets are going to be kept here today. Don't worry about it. But hello to everyone watching on Peacock, BravoTV.com, our socials. Don't move. It's going to be an incredible day of amazing people. Now I have some very serious questions for all of you. Could you imagine Sonia Rita without her Lou? <laughs> or if the Trace Amigas went down to Dos Amigas? <laughs> you don't have to worry, because I have them all here today. Without further ado, I have to present, let's whoop it up for Tamara Judge, Vicky Gudwilson, and Shannon Bedour. <laughs> Sonia Morgan and Luann De La Seps. Keep it going for them. <laughs> I mean, this is like a good color coordinated group here. I mean, we're all like really popping. I love it. Let's start off. What has been the biggest surprise this weekend so far for all of you at BravoCon? Tamara, take it away. The biggest surprise? Yeah. What's happened backstage? Um, give us some goss. Do you want me to give the dirt? Yeah. Tamara, you never give the dirt. No. 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 I am not shady like you, Darren. You're a steel, <laughs> you're a steel vault, Tamara Judge. You're fine. You when someone tells Tamara something, she keeps it right here. She never gives yeah. it away. Yeah. <laughs> no, Thursday night, two teas in a pod had a big party in a suite. We're lucky we didn't have the cops come. Oh. I felt like everybody showed up and some people even snuck in. Some people you didn't want to sneak in snuck in? Um, maybe. Are we going to be hearing about that anytime soon? No. <laughs> Shannon? How's it been going for you? I mean, it's been going great. I mean, I don't know if we want to address what's been going on, but I've been so ingred incredibly grateful to the support for all of you. I, it's, it's, been a, it's been a rough uh, last six weeks, but I've been focusing on myself, and I've started to make a lot of very positive changes in my life, eliminating toxic and unhealthy things. So I'm looking forward to the future, and I really appreciate it. Good all for of you. you. If you're eliminating toxic and unhealthy things, do I have to get off this stage right now? Do I have to eliminate myself from this <laughs> panel? You're, you are very non-toxic. Uh, yeah, untoxic. <laughs> Sonia Rita. <laughs> they love you, baby. They love you. I love uh, them more. Any biggest surprises for you on BravoCon? How's it been going for you? You know me, I roll easy. <laughs> Basically, you know, with this, from the seat of my pants, I roll really easy, right, Lou? Yeah, as long as I, <laughs> as long as I get her moving. So there were no, there were she no surprises. She rolls when I push her. <laughs> no, but there were no surprises. I just threw everything in a suitcase, and then I got here, dumped the suitcase out, and put some shit together. Well, I heard the new housewife, Bryn, got her heels stuck in an escalator. Right? It was incredible and watching the heels get I mean, I saw the picture. It was like, Kenny gave me, like, um, vibes like uh, the, the Wicked Witch of the West. And yes, the heels got was. stuck in the thing. It but, was. But behind, behind the scenes for me, yeah. when I walked in, I saw Erica Jane, like, first. And she goes, Captain Jason from Below Deck is looking for you. <laughs> I was like, he is? And what do we think about that? Well, I think he's hot. Oh. So, the weekend's not over yet, kids. Yeah, this is a jam-packed day. Vicky. Yes, ma'am. Vegas. I mean, like, first off, you're, you know, you're an OG of the OG of the OGs. So tell me what kind of seeing this whole, I mean, you've been on our TV screens for 18 years. I mean, talk about the full circle moment of BravoCon for you and getting to see it all kind of pay off at BravoCon because the energy is just amazing here. Well, I think you guys, some of you haven't seen it yet, but Sunday night tonight, we're going to air a Watch What Happens Live where I get my Wifetime Achievement Award. The, at the Bravos. The Bravos, yes. And um, that was truly emotional, seeing all the, the tapes and all the clips of all the years. We see her casting tape. Yeah. We, we get to see the first it was, sizzle. It was Vicky. incredible. It was very emotional for me. It still is when I think about it. So don't ask me any more questions. I'm <laughs> cry. Oh, uh, collective sigh from the audience. Now, are you ladies gamblers? Do you casino? No. Like, I work too no. hard for my money. I'm not giving no. it away to these casinos. No. By the way, I was surprised. I saw Jeff Lewis in the casino playing that, what do you call it? Uh, slots? Yeah. 
Wait, 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 wait. Slots still do that, Jeff? Like, yeah. What is he? And I heard you get free yeah. drinks when you do the slots, so I might do that tonight. Go to the penny <laughs> That's slots. That's another surprise. I have not gotten drunk Go and to the down penny yet. Slots. Go to the penny slots. There's something super bravo about watching Jeff Lewis play the slots at like 4 a.m. in a casino. He crashed. I, I her play party. blackjack. That's my game. No, it was in the daytime. If you didn't hear that, Tamara just said Jeff Lewis was the one to crash her party. So he walked in and said. I invited you to my party. Why didn't you invite me to yours? And I go, well, I just thought you were busy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a classic. I just thought you were doing something else. But I love Jeff, so he was welcome. Well, one thing about the Bravoverse I feel like is so unique to our network, unlike any, anything else, is like, we're all friends, we're all family. We do crossovers, we watch each other's shows. Tell me what Bravo show you're watching right now that you're obsessed with, Shannon Bedore. I mean, anything below duck. Because I, cause I, grew, I grew up on boats. You grew up on, that's right. Do you have a favorite of all the Below Decks? I mean, right now, Below Deck Mediterranean's on. So it's whatever's on, I watch. Captain Sandy, okay. she's my girl. Vicky, are you watching any Bravo right now? Sorry, I work. I really don't watch TV. <laughs> Sorry. I, I work till 7 or 8 o'clock at night, and then I'll have a little bit of something, something, and then I'm going to try to be in bed by midnight. I just, it's just not in my gig right now. You need to catch Sonia and Luann trying to catch a catfish, because okay, that is. That. that was the best. I will do that. Truly I will do that. kind of amazing. Tamara, what are you watching right now? Well, I watch them all because I get paid to watch them. <laughs> That's nice. So yeah. I watch all, obviously, all the Housewife shows and watch what happens live. Uh, Miami and Salt Lake City, guys, are they not amazing? It's spicy. I will say. The OC reunion this year, that backdrop of that beach. Oh, it was gorgeous. Insanity. That was gorgeous. Really All of you looked absolutely insane. It was like, it was wonderful. Did you guys watch that? That was truly gorgeous. But it was also a little bit distracting. Yeah. Because every once in a while you see a bird fly over your head and you're like, <laughs> I know, you're just like, is this a live feed or something? Yeah, it was What's going really on? Bizarre. Sonia Luann, what are you catching on Bravo? Well, as you know, I don't watch TV, but I'm obsessed with the Southern Charm group. I. I feel like I'm part of the guy group. Yeah? You are. Of course you are. So, <laughs> That's how it works. I like, I, been, I just started watching Beverly Hills. Um, I started watching Miami because Mary Soul and Alexia are good friends of mine. And, uh, and then, of course, um, I'm just going to start watching Below Deck, Captain Jason. Yeah. Yeah, do your homework, Luann. Do your homework. I do my homework, yeah. Well, Tamara Shannon and Vicky, you've been dubbed the Trace Amigas. You've been having that for a while. Sonia Luann, do you guys have a little group nickname? For the two of us? Yeah. Yeah, it's Laverne and Shirley. Okay. L, L and S, you know. That works. Compare... Lusonia. Lusonia. <laughs> Lusonia. I want to. I say Mutt and Jeff. Yeah, exactly. Which one's the little one, Mutt? And you Jeff's just the audience. Oh, you're too young. You're too young. You're too young. Let's stick to Laverne and Shirley. You know, a lot of people don't realize, though, that, like, these people are actually, like, friends. Like, you guys drink. You guys hang out outside of the show. Like, you all, you actually are the Trace Amigas. How often do the three of you text each other? How often is that chain popping off with the three of you? Well, we have a group text. Every day? Yeah, Every yeah, day. Yeah, multiple times a day. And we have a show in Phoenix on the 15th and 16th. You guys have to go. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. The 16th is sold out. We got a few tickets left for the 15th. So if you guys live in Phoenix or around there, you got to come see the show. Show here. It's actually forever a fun. showman. Yeah. Forever a showman. Yeah. What is something that each of you do texting wise that you guys hate about each other? Like, do you guys leave voice notes? Do you leave voicemails? Do you use an emoji? Uh, you don't Vicky, like? Vicky does the voicemails. I never even listen to my voicemails. <laughs> I'm like, just text. I wonder me why you never call me back. I, know, yeah, I don't listen to Tamara them. Doesn't, Tamara doesn't respond right now. I said sugar tits. I thought maybe that could start a good thing. Could you please call me back? God knows, quick, quick. I hate group texts. I hate that group texting. It's, I don't know why. It just, well, I'm not going to text you and text her the same thing. Text I'm doing group and getting it over with. And then it's a ding, 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 ding. And if you get lost, you're like, f*** it. I'm not looking back. Luann, what's it like texting with Sonia? Like, talk about your group texts to each other. Like, is she oh using God. more emotion? Well, if she, if she gets back to me, it's a miracle. <laughs> I mean, she's not a big phone person, Sonia. She really isn't. And only when it comes to business, right? Right. That's all I do is work. But I have to say... You're so old school. Nobody does that. <laughs> voicemails, they're rude. They're rude. <laughs> we don't even listen to voicemails. I have a she lot of audio say. text. Oh, I've... that's even worse. Well, and... no, if you don't call me back, I'm. <laughs> and when someone both. calls you and doesn't make an appointment, 
I know. You I better know she read doesn't pick up the phone. I'm telling you. Stand it when somebody calls me. I, I don't like an invasive FaceTime or I hate a voicemail. Or the random FaceTime call from a friend that's I, drunk. Right. It's invasive. Andy loves leaving a voice note. He loves it. And then he goes on. And it's fine. But then you have to save it because then I have to write everything down. And I just wish it was all written down. So now you like in person. I like to copy paste. You, oh, you like a copy and paste. But I will say we are on a really hot chain right now with the Real Housewives of New York legacy ultimate girls trip. What's that yeah. like? There's more action on that group text than with Sonia Reeves. That's for sure. Well, we got Kelly, Kristen, uh, Sonia, myself, and Linda. And Ramona. Trace Amigas, you guys have your own texting thing, but do you ever like text on the side about, like you're like Tamara's texting Vicky, being like, ugh, Shannon today. Yes, yes, we do. It's not just Shannon, it's oh. Vicky, it's me. It's like, oh, I roll, what is she talking about now? It's equal opportunity shade between the yeah. three of you, you think. Shannon, you feel all, surprised about it. that? I mean, it's, it's all in fun. We all love each other like sisters.